The 2013 general election was marred by procurement and logistics plunders that cost the taxpayers millions of shillings. IBC CEO Ezra Chiloba, however, told MPs that several tenders, including one in which faulty electronic voter identification devices were delivered, were awarded before, the, before he took office. Francis Kashuri reports. The spotlight was yet again cast on the Electoral Commission, with a litany of questions posed by the Auditor General running into millions of shillings spent irregularly. In the report, the Auditor General established that IABC in the financial year 2014-2015 had an expenditure of 2.4 billion shillings for general purposes, which included 2.01 billion shillings relating to payment of pending bills for 2012-2013 financial year. A sample of the pending bills, totaling to 846 million shillings, had anomalies, one of the anomalies being a 259 million shillings extra payment to Face Technologies, a South African company for the supply of electronic voter identification devices, EVIDs. What informed you? Why did you go ahead to pay $2.5 million, which is equivalent to $2.5 million? Who delivered products that never worked? during the elections? I agree with, with Honorable Junet that issues were raised at the time. Whilst issues were raised, there were issues to do with the legal obligation on the part of the Commission. Though he took over as IABC CEO in 2015, two years after the election kits were procured and partially paid for, the Parliamentary Watchdog Committee questioned Chiloba's decision to approve the payment to Face Technologies despite the mass failure of the election technology in 2013. But Chiloba tossed the blame to his predecessor James Oswago, the then Finance Director Carissa Kenga, and Procurement Manager Willie Kamanga. Will you concede, and this was before your time, that the adjustment of the contract in terms of what is to be supplied, in terms of the quantity, was irregular and did not follow the provisions of Section 139 of the Public Procurement Act. The first technology pending bill was not just a loan. We had pending bill projected at five, I think, 0.2 billion Kenya shillings arising from the 2013 uh, general election. And before any payments were made to any of the companies or individuals at the time, a process was put in place, which was a due diligence process. The Auditor General had also flagged out irregularities in payment of 50.4 million shillings to Alhamdul Company that was contracted to transport election materials. However, an audit revealed that the said company was registered in September 2014. In the contract documents, the company was to use 27 vehicles, but an audit revealed that only five vehicles were used, hence an overpayment of 42.6 million shillings, though IABC later provided additional documents showing that 10 of the earlier unaccounted for 22 vehicles vehicles were used. A further probe indicated that some vehicles were not in the allocated designations or were falsified altogether. The commission also paid an extra 46.9 million shillings as waiting charges occasioned by a delay in transporting MCS ballot materials to various polling stations. That millions of shillings were misappropriated by IBC in the run-up to the 2013 general election is not in doubt. The current crop of top leadership of IBC admitting as such. However, what remains unclear clear is who pocketed the money and the many audit queries posed by the Auditor General remain unanswered. Francis Gashuri, Citizen TV, Parliament Buildings, Nairobi.